everyone welcome to the fourth video in my sketchbook fun series and today I'm gonna talk about how to get better at drawing but first I'm just gonna talk about the drawing I'm working on it was the Monday before Valentine's Day and I thought it would be the right time to do a couple I don't I don't do mail very often and I don't do couple even you know even less so I thought why not but hey, let's talk about how to get better at drawing. So I've prepared myself today. I've got a paper I'm looking down at with a few things I've written down that could be helpful if you are looking to improve your skills. Um, the first thing on my paper is to learn about the, about the basic rules that you need to know about, like proportion and um, pers perspective and shading and light and anything that relates to what you want to draw um, like a bit of science uh, if you want to you know a bit of anatomy if you want to learn to draw people a bit of science if you want to learn uh, to learn how to draw uh, flowers um, animal anatomy and this kind of stuff is always very helpful so you can read about that you can get books from the library uh, you can you know um, look up some tutorials online it's pretty easy to find everything you need to uh, the second thing I would say could help you improve your drawing if you're looking to improve is to learn about breaking down uh, your subject into shapes I know that when I was first um, starting to draw again and I was hearing those people saying break down what you're drawing to shapes and I was like I don't understand that I didn't understand the concept and everything can be broken down to the basic geometrical shapes such as circle oval squares triangles rectangles you know those shapes that are really easy to draw circle and oval are a bit more uh, challenging but those, sorry about that, those are um, the one you, you really need to, you know, get better at and, and, and try to practice, you know, as, um, beside what you like to draw. Uh, so yeah, everything can be broken down to those very simple shapes and it's, um, you'll get better at drawing when you start seeing them in everything. Like an eye is the, the iris and the pupil, it's a small circle inside of a big circle and actually the eyeball is a circle, so it's that's a circle. You can also use circles uh, for the, the tip of the nose and for the bottom of the ears, the earlobes, that's what they're called. So when you learn to break down to shapes and draw those shapes, then your um, drawing will improve and when you when your brain stops seeing eyes and ears and nose but circles and abstract shapes then your drawing will improve surprisingly the the next thing that's really helped me getting better at drawing complex things was um, being very mindful of the negative space uh, so for example if you're drawing a figure and the person you're drawing has got their arms um, you know with the hand on the hip you need to look at the space created between the arm and the body and I find for me that uh, I get better results if I draw this space and then draw the arm the end and then and the rest of the, the, the figure it gives you a much better a much more realistic feel I, I find a much more proportionately balance drawing <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense but um, if I start looking at the negative space I draw a lot of flowers and people so for example the negative space between a petal and the stem of a flower or the negative space between the, the jawline and the shoulder this kind of stuff will help you uh, make sure that your proportion are correct that your angles are correct and it will help, you know, um, improve your 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 drawing. And then you'll start looking for those because this will be very helpful. 
and I'm now to my down to my last tip to get better at drawing and I'm really sorry that I've got to tell you that but the only real way to get better once you've you know applied all those tips that I've given you before is to practice and practice a lot and a lot and a lot more and more than that and 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 even more than that um, I think there's um, a saying that says that you need to spend 40,000 hours to become an expert at something. 14? Uh, whatever the number, a lot of hours. And yeah, that is true. Uh, you need to spend, spend a lot of hours. Um, make, if you're really into getting better, make sure you devote some time throughout your week to get better. Um, it's like... If you want to be a better runner, you run more often and you practice more often. If you want to run a, a marathon, you're going to practice several times a week. You're going to hit the gym and, and all of that. So it's the same for drawing. If you want to you know, create a masterpiece at some point, you need to practice first. And that's the thing. You won't start by drawing a masterpiece. This drawing I'm dr doing today in this video is not my best drawing. Uh, it's probably the third or fourth drawing I've ever done of a, a couple, but it's better than the previous one, and it, the ones after that would be even better. So it's all practice, and once in a while you'll get a sketch where you're very happy and you'll feel that you've progressed, and then and then that's right. So yeah, keep on practicing, keep on drawing, and you'll see the result very soon. All right, I think that's all for now. I hope you enjoy this video. Um, let me know if you've got some subject that you would like me to talk about in my upcoming sketchbook fun videos. Um, make sure to you like and you subscribe to my channel. That really means a lot to me. And I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye everyone.